Okay, so here we are at our vise. I'm going to take a little bit of, of our super glue. I'm going to just squeeze a little bit. I don't need tons. I actually squeezed out too much because you'll notice my piece of tape here is shorter than this piece of tape. So now I'm going to have glue on my wood. And that's going to be a pain in the neck. But oh well. I'll take a little. This is actually, this isn't spray paint. This just helps the super glue dry faster. So I'm just going to give a little spray of that on my work. Take my piece of metal, hold it there, I don't know, five seconds. Like that's pretty good. And now my piece of metal is stuck to my piece of wood and it's sticking up out of the vise. That's the whole reason why we made this little jig. Because if you try to clamp onto the edges of the metal inside the vise, you're going to end up just scratching the top of your vise. So I just have it so that it's sticking up now. Okay, so your next step is to draw a file. So you're going to take a file. Okay, this one's been used for wood, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, I can tell by feeling it that this file still has some pretty good teeth in it. So this will work perfect. And draw filing is just the way it says. You're going to set it flat and draw it towards yourself. And you just keep going. And you can wipe. If you wipe the slag off every so often. And I'm just going to draw a file. And you can start to see how I have these big scratches on the outside. Okay. And what I want to do is go until my piece of metal is totally flat. So through the, I'll stop the video here and there, but really you're just gonna, uh, I'll probably fast forward this and you can watch me draw a file. Whoops. And if the handle pops off like this, that's okay. These handles are designed to be hammered back on. Just a little tap and it's back in place. So now I'm back after it. So here I've got my surface pretty well flattened, okay? Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple long, just straight draws just to get rid of any of my cross hatch pattern that I'd made. So I just set it, drag, pull. Okay? And if you wanted to, you can see how I'm getting kind of metal dust everywhere. You could put your glove back on. I'm actually just for sake of time, I'm going to hold on to my glove, put my rag in there and just give that a wipe. There. So now my piece of metal is cleaned on one side. So if I just pry a little bit, it pops up. And as you can see, I have a nice draw filed face and I'm going to do the end the other side and when I'm done with this I'll come back. Okay I decided to bring you back in because if you look at this one you'll see how I have kind of uh, the silver around the all the outsides. Okay. Last time, if you paid attention, I had kind of a dark spot here and a dark spot here that wouldn't go away and the middle was silver. So what was happening is I was only, I was filing back and forth in small motions. And if you notice, for every time I come back here once, I went here twice. So I go back, forward, back, forward, back, forward. So this was a back, forward, back, forward or sorry, back, back, forward, forward. So they're two times each, but if you do it here and go back, then same thing, two times here, two times here. Well, now I had two times at the back, two times at the front, and actually four times in the middle. And that's how come I got rid of the metal in the middle first. So the proper way to draw a file is to start at the top, pull all the way across. So I put nice pressure. I set my file flat so that it registers. I register it flat, put some weight on it and pull. Okay. And it's not about speed. 
It's about how accurate you can be while you're doing this. So I'll let you guys watch. But again, I'll probably speed up the video. Okay. So now that we're into it a little further, right? You can see how I have a nice black streak all the way across the whole piece of metal. And on the outsides, I've taken a bunch off. So that tells me that there's a little bit of a hollow in the middle here. And that's what I'm trying to get rid of. So while I'm doing this, the other thing I try to do is I try and start kind of closer to the tip. And as I draw, I try and pull my file across. Draw my file across. Put some weight onto it. Draw a file across. Go. So while you're doing this, you'll notice that your metal is getting warm, right? It's the same if we talked about this. If you put your hands together and wipe them back and forth, you create friction, right? The same thing's happening here. So again, you'll notice that my middle is kind of clean and my outside edges have a little dot of black. That's much better. If you go back in the video and watch what I did earlier, my dots of black were way worse. So I'll just keep going the way I'm going. I'm just going to cheat a second here. Give the front. A little extra attention and then finish it out and my jig is out of control failing so maybe we'll do this one more time we're so close though How would we solve this problem? Probably not doing what I just did. Picking the same small piece. If you had a little longer piece, then you got more glue, right? But what I did this time is I folded over the sides and massaged those a little. And that might help me out. We'll see. Put this back on there. Oops. Okay, we'll call that good. Oops, take this off. So if you look real close at these scratch patterns, you can see that they do come kind of at an angle across, but I kind of have some weird scratches here and some weird ones up here. If you flip this over, this is a much more uniform scratch pattern. So this is the way you want to draw a file, hence why draw file and not file wherever you want to.